Charmaine, and my guest today is a businessman who knows a little something about chicken. He has three successful restaurants in St. Louis and now one in sunny California. He's here today to talk about his new California venture and the new season of Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Help me welcome the other half of Sweetie Pies, Mr. Tim Norman, back to the show. Welcome back, Tim. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm good. It's always good to have you on the show, and I'm so glad y'all in California, Tim. You don't even know. I'm so glad y'all here, <laughs> at least in Southern California. Well, we're glad to be out. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad to be out here. I can't, I can't believe it's December and it's 60 degrees, so I'm loving it. You know what's so funny? Tell, let me tell you something. I was at the Sheraton. I was actually shooting a television show. So I was staying at the Sheraton Universal. If I would have known that you guys were open already, I could. it was in September. I could have came down to the restaurant because when I Googled it, when I got back, come to find out, I was only eight minutes away from the restaurant. I could have just kicked myself. But I, right here. <laughs> I know. So I will be there in March. So you're going to see me there in March. I'm going to be stopping by the restaurant, get my chicken, and call it a day, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Come on back. I sure will. So I want to know, how did you spend your Thanksgiving last week? Because I know Miss Robbie told me that she normally does um, give away food out of the restaurant in St. Louis. Did she do that again this year? You know what? We with our, our schedule has become so crazy. You know, we were actually separated uh, this holiday, so mm-hmm. I was in California with Charles and uh, and the rest of the crew, and then Mom and her sisters were back in uh, St. Louis. So we had to do a separate uh, Thanksgiving this this year, unfortunately. But we're we're going to get back on the script next year for sure. Uh, okay. Now, Tim, what are some of your favorite holiday dishes, especially now we're moving into Christmas? Now, you know what? One of my favorite holiday dishes is always dressing. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a carb and meat guy, so. Dressing, turkey, any type of uh, ham, smoked mm. smoked ham, smoked turkey. I love that for the holidays. Ooh, that sounds good. You done made me hungry. Yeah, you're you're so right. I'm with you on that you one. Can't forget about the mac and cheese. <laughs> That's right. You can't eat some good old greens and, and some greens. You got to throw some greens in there. Got to throw some greens in there. Then right, we'll be right, good. <laughs> So now you guys are all now ready in the new restaurant. It's up and running. And the restaurant appears on television to be kind of small. So how was it for all of you moving around in there along with a camera crew shooting the show? Man, you know what? A lot of people don't realize I'm six foot five, 300 pounds. So mm-hmm. I'm not a little person. So it's it's really hard for me to move around this restaurant as it is. And then when you got, you got about four or five cameramen and a microphone man and TV producers all around you. It was tough. Mm. It was really tough. Uh, you really, you really gonna hear me say I might have bit off more than uh, I could chew, but this was a uh, something I was not expecting it to be as difficult as difficult as it was. Um, and one of the main problems with opening this place was uh, trying to get the LA chefs, uh, LA people, to really get um, the, a handle on the southern, you know, southern palate. You know, they're afraid to put a little too much sugar in there. They don't want to use salt. You know, so. You guys are going to see these next couple of episodes and you know, some of the growing pains we had to go through. You know, that was one of my questions because I wanted to ask you, how did you find your chefs? And then how did you bring them up to make soul food, especially if they weren't experienced in soul food? Because if you have an unexperienced chef in soul food, it may not turn out too well. So how did you find them? Did you go to a cooking yeah. school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that's what we did. We, you know, we put out, we put out, um, you know, we put out ads and let people know we were hiring. We kind of had to do a quality because of a, uh, because of the television show, we really didn't want to, you know, blow mm-hmm. blow our cover. We tried to do it under under the radar. So, uh, but we did reach out to some of the cooking schools and get some students and get some other people that were uh, uh, experienced chefs. But all in all, we had uh, we had to call in reinforcements for St. Louis to come in and get them together. And you guys will see that in some of the later episodes. Yeah, because I'm telling you, I was thinking if they don't know what they're doing, you don't know greens and dressing and and a good cheeseburger. Because you know, yeah, yeah, they, they, don't, <laughs> they don't they don't they don't know about. Yeah, we had we had to get some country boys because they don't know about getting some grease, get some some of that chicken grease, yes. and throwing it in the greens. <laughs> <laughs> That was really my question. I'm like, uh, what them greens turn out? I'm not good about good, healthy greens. I'm sorry. Just give me some of that good grease and I'm okay. <laughs> so, and I noticed that yep. in, in your first two episodes, you were having some difficulties with the powers and circuits breaking and registers before everything opened. How frustrating was it for you knowing that you had all these issues just a few days before you opened, even the day of the opening? It was very frustrating. I mean, this this building is a... Uh, it's a historical location. I mean, it's actually been deemed historic by uh, the city of Los Angeles. Um, and this is one of the last rail cars in the United States of this type. Uh, so 
it's really hard what we can and can't do to it because uh, we have to worry about the structure and uh, keeping the integrity uh, the integrity of the actual uh, rail car. So that's why we have a lot of electrical issues. And for me to put a picture up, I got to call the historical society and have them come out here and do you know uh, approve things. So as far as uh, people coming and working on the actual building, it was hard because uh, and you guys don't see a lot of that on television show. But I can just pick up a, a phone and get things fixed or redone. Uh, as I would be able to do in a, in a normal location. So it, that, that came with um, a lot of uh, problems that I wasn't anticipating. But uh, right now we kind of got it uh, got it uh, going. But we still have a lot. We still have problems that pop up from time to time. But it was really rough that was, was uh, in the beginning. Because I know you got the TJ Sweetie Pies up there. Now, why did you just decide to add your son up there? Because I, I saw Miss Robbie's face. I'm glad she was happy, you know, because it was her grandson. But uh, why did you decide to put your son's name on there? <laughs> Well, you know what? Um, every Sweetie Pies has a different name. If you are, people have been watching the show for a while, we have a Sweetie Pies Mangrove, Sweetie Pies Upper Crust. So we always would put mm. a, a name after uh, Sweetie Pies usually. But um, with the uh, with, with coming out to California, this is a smaller location, and I'm, I'm trying to do some different business models. So um, the, the smaller Sweetie Pies uh, are going are probably going to be called TJ's. Uh, so we're just trying to do some different business models, you know, um, uh, and trying to separate. Uh, within the brand, you know, the type of restaurant it's going to be. Okay. Now, you and Ms. So, R- PJ's would probably be more of a... Uh, uh, go ahead. No, 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 you finish. Go ahead. No, so a TJ's would probably be a smaller, you know, fast casual type of restaurant as opposed to a big sweet pie with live bands and, you know, one of those, the, the, the ones like we have in St. Louis. Okay. Now, I was going to say, I noticed that you and Ms. Robbie have two totally different opinions when it comes to the menu. You know, she's adding hamburgers and looking at breakfast. Have you both now come to a happy medium when it comes to the menu? Yeah, you know, what? Um, like um, you guys are going to see a lot coming up in the upcoming episodes, but we are uh, making some tips. Well, put it like this. The TV life and real life are, are, are separate timelines. But I will just say, me and I, we have we have uh, come to some agreements so far as the menu is concerned. So uh, she's not getting everything she wants, and I'm not getting everything I want. But we all gonna come to a compromise. Okay. Now, quick, quick question for you, though. I remember on the show you mentioned, uh, you know, um, the episode that just aired this past Saturday because there was a lot going on. Did you ever, like, close down for a minute so you all can regroup because there was a lot going on with wrong orders? And like Miss Robbie was saying, they had, like, two smoked turkey legs. And did you have to close down to bring everybody back up to speed? Yeah, you know what? What actually happened was we ran out of food. Um, we, oh. we ran out of food because we want to anticipate because we didn't announce. We never really announced we were open. Um, so with social media and just word of mouth, people found out that we were here and we were open, and we weren't expecting uh, that long, super duper line like we had. So we ran out of food, and then it's just the people they couldn't keep up. So we did have to shut down and regroup because I'd rather have people have a good, rather people have a good product um, properly as opposed to keep on trying to you know push orders out just to take people's money. That's that's not what we're about. So we did actually have to shut down, uh, you know, that that particular day and regroup and have them uh, reopen more and cook even more food. How are you handling all the crowds now? Um, you know what? We it's it's much better now. I mean, everybody has they have a hangover. They know what they're doing. Um, we're we're used to uh, setting a pause. We know what to expect on a Tuesday. We know what to expect on a Friday. So uh, now with the television show coming on and mm-hmm. people are, are are starting to find out where it's, it's increasing, but we, we can we can handle the increase now because these people kind of season. They're getting seasoned right now. Now, when I come in March, how long, I'm, and I'm being honest, how long is my wait going to be if I show up? And what is the best time of the day for me to come so I don't have to get a long line? Well, you know, one, one good thing about this about TJ is with it being small, uh, people aren't coming and camping out for, for hours to listen to a band play. And, you know, that's one of the problems in St. Louis. We had a lot of music and a lot of other things going on. So people will come and, uh, and, and, and camp out for a long time. Here, people just, they're coming to eat and they're getting up out of here. So they're used to it. So you won't have that long of a wait. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I'll be there with my family. And I'm like, oh, I can't do the 30, 40, 50 minute lines wrapped around the corner. Well, that's good to know. So are you guys facing any new challenges now, now that you're up and running and now the television show is on? Are you facing any new challenges or you basically got the hang of everything right now? Well, you know me, I always got some on my sleeve. So I will <laughs> say that you guys can expect uh, can expect. Uh, some more stuff from Sweetie Pies and TJ's uh, out here in California real soon. So that's just a teaser right there. 
Okay. And believe me, I got a lot of stuff on my sleeve. Now, are you still tape? Are you guys still taping in the restaurant now, or is taping over for you? One more time. What'd you say? Are you still taping in the restaurant right now, or is taping now over? Um, yeah, tape tape is over right now. Uh, actually, by the time something comes on TV, it's about three to four months behind in real life. Mm, so mm-hmm. we're done taping right now. Okay, so um, you you threw something out there, and I, and I kind of picked it up. You talking about new restaurants and stuff, and you scouting out new locations, Tim. Where, where can we expect another Sweetie Pies to pop up? Man, it's gonna pop up soon, fast as you can say, pop up. <laughs> <laughs> but can you tell us a city, like kind of like where in California? Um, you know what? I, I will say this: when we first came out to California, to Los Angeles, I really didn't understand the demographics of the city. I mean, all this was considered L.A. to me. So this is the difference between the Valley or mm-hmm. uh, Compton and Inglewood mm-hmm. or Hollywood and all these, you know, uh, Pasadena. I didn't understand that. It was just all L.A. to me. So I would just say that uh, we are going a little closer to the hood. Really? Really? Okay. Well, I- <laughs> just man. Just man. <laughs> Because there is a restaurant out there that I used to um, frequent a lot, which was called uh, M&M's out there. You know, so when I come down, you know, I, I'll go there. That's why I want to yep. try uh, Sweetie Pie. So you are you already know, because that's where I go to uh, get my soul food. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to venture out to where y'all uh-huh. are, way out there. But um, definitely, well, I'll be looking out for you. And Tim, um, can you let people know right now where you're located in case people are looking to travel and they want to come to your restaurant? Can you give us the address? Absolutely. The address is 5230 Lakersham on the corner of Magnolia in North Hollywood, California, in the valley, right by Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and you know, let me tell you, we was there, we was taping, and Tim, my daughter and I, we were so hungry. And if I would have known, I'm going to tell you, we were in that hotel room starving, trying to figure out where we were going to go eat. And when you aired, I'm like, wait a minute, I just looked you up. I said, are you kidding me? They were eight, you were eight minutes from me. I wish I would have known. So that, that's why I said, I'll yeah. see you in March. And Tim, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. And please let Miss Robbie know. I said, hello, and I look forward to having her on the show i will let them know lady shortman thank you so much you're welcome thank you and be sure to tune in to welcome to sweetie pie saturday on own at 9 8 central and tweet tim at tim underscore sweetie pies and on instagram the underscore tim norman lady